we can divide the 16 pins of our LCD into three groups. We can divide it into the LCD control pins, the LCD data pins, and then the LCD power supply pins. This division makes it easy to connect the LCD to microcontrollers. Let's take a look at them. The LCD control pin consists of the RS, the RW, and the E pin. I've named them the LCD control pin because this controls how you use the LCD. For instance, the RS is used to control whether you're sending a command or data to the LCD. The art of you, as we know, is used to read or write from the LCD and the E is used to secure whatever information we write in the internal register to the internal register. And in the example we're going to run, we will be connecting these pins to the port A. We'll connect the RS to PA5, RW to PA6, and the E enable pin to PA7. So after this, the second group we have is the LCD data pin. And this group of pins basically consists of the, the data transfer pins D0 to D7. And in our example, we'll be connecting these pins to the Port B will be using PB0 to PB7 in our example. Then finally, we have the LCD power supply pins, and this consists of the ground pin and the voltage supply pin of the LCD, as well as the cathode and the anode of the backlight, which is the plus 5 and the ground. And then we have the VE or the V0. Remember, the VE is the contrast control. And this one here, in order to control the contrast, we have to connect this pin to a potential meter, the middle leg of the potential meter. And then we connect the left and right legs of the potential meter to the plus 5 voltage supply and the ground. So this creates the potential difference. Then we can move the potential meter to adjust the contrast. So we're going to use this map of connections to make our work really easy when we start coding. Let's see a visual representation of these connections. Let's say we have our microcontroller here and we have our LCD. And as you can see, the yellow marks are the, um, the pins on the microcontroller that we just spoke about in our groupings. And let's say we have our power supply here, plus 5 volt. Um, basically, this is what we were talking about. Yeah, this is the connection and we have the potential meter here which is connected to the V0 or the VE. If you trace it, you would find it. Uh, don't be worried or confused by the amount of connections showed here. If you look closely, you would realize that these connections are made according to the three groupings of pins we just spoke of. And when we are connecting, we wouldn't need to look at this. We'll just follow the three groupings in the map to connect that's much more straightforward and clearer, but this is a good reference to see what we are talking about. In the next lesson, we shall take a look at how to control the LCD.